Awesome, guys. I think that's good. You know, for listeners, you're really thinking about investing in Disney. This is probably something you want to look at as well. Um, all right. So let's move on to the next bit. Um, so a little bit on Binance, actually, right? So we talked a little bit about a crypto sell-off uh, a couple of weeks ago with, with Bitcoin dropping, I think, to below 50K. Um, and, and now it's, it's back up to 51. But some news that I got uh, today, uh, and especially for our Singapore viewers, so thanks so much, is the fact that Binance is halting Singapore products after the Singapore Central Bank gave a warning. Apparently, they have breached uh, and violated Singapore's Payment Services Act and has to stop all trading volumes in Singapore. This will be in effect on September 10th, which is ooh, Friday. <laughs> right. So, uh, yeah, that's really quick, actually. So I'm just, just reading this news. Um, of course, we talked you know, about the you know, cryptocurrency being waning off in general with China cracking down in terms of mining, which we've seen over the past few months. China also saying there's not illegal trade activity and 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 they want to move all of them out um, and probably maybe run their own. But, you know, that's not for me to say. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think about Binance, right? Um, with, regards to, with regards to this news, do you think other central banks are going to do the same? So Singapore Central Bank is one of the laxest in the crypto space, right? So the most relaxed, least legislative, least legislations being enacted in the crypto space at this moment in time. So a lot of uh, big development um, are here, right, in Singapore to use this as a base to potentially grow their own ecosystem with uh, cryptocurrencies and blockchain and all that jazz, right? So, so that's that part. Um, and for Singapore government to kind of attack Binance, I think, in such a high-profile situation, um, mm. it's definitely something going on there. And uh, you can also say that, you know, the whole cryptocurrency space is going through a, a whole process of being legislated and being, you know, controlled and being regulated, you know, with uh, with Tether, with Binance, and all these other central banks coming up to say that, okay, you, unanimously, we must tax this thing. And uh, China pushing it out. You know, to say that, okay, we shouldn't be putting our resources uh, mining cryptocurrencies. We should put our resources in manufacturing real stuff and all that jazz. Right? So China is also hitting hard. So it's not a one-off thing at this point in time. It looks like it's a whole suite of legislation coming for the cryptocurrency space. right? But the interesting part is a lot of these central banks all have pretty good things to say about Coinbase, right? So um, I don't know why. I don't know why, but they all have some pretty good things to say about Coinbase, saying that Coinbase has a very good legislation, internal regulation, internal legislation, internal KYC, know your customers and all those kind of stuff, right? So I don't know. Maybe it's the thing. But yeah, not a big fan of the cryptocurrency space yet. I am changing my positions. I can slowly feel myself inching closer to a whole new world, you know. But yeah, not not there yet. So <laughs> <laughs> just as of now, yeah, this is this is my take that uh, Binance. This issue with Binance is not unique, and it will affect. Uh, it will cryptocurrency probably go through a whole series of changes um, in the next few years. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, I guess going back off what Reggie was saying of, you know, the KYC site. Um, so, I mean, I op I've opened up a few different um, accounts with a lot of these uh, people a few years ago, right? And Coinbase has been, only been, has been the only one that's actually asked me to, like, update my, um, my documents, uh, which I think does speak towards, like, you know, they, they have a much better internal protocol uh, to kind of figure out what's, you know, what's happening, what's not. Um, I think I'll, like... I do think um, ultimately, like, yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot more legislation. Uh, right now, I, I think there's just too many gray areas uh, for a lot of these, you know, for a lot of these people, like businesses or investors or um, re like or just like retail people, um, like they're not really sure what what is or is not okay, right? Um, I I guess the way I look at this is like there's so many there's so many like um, custodians out there right now that. Yes, I mean, Binance is big, but Binance isn't the only one in Singapore, right? I think Gemini is probably the biggest one there. And, and it doesn't seem like Gemini is being impacted at all uh, with what's happening with Binance, right? So I don't, I don't see this as a negative, per se, for crypto. I think um, overall, like, and, you know, going back to, like, the typical crypto um, bull case is you need more regulation before you can have institutional investors come in, right? Um, and before they're able to actually start, like, really you know, bidding up some of these um, um, 
projects or what have you. Uh, so yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not too worried. I mean, I don't, I, you know, disclose, disclosure, I do own um, a bit of stuff uh, a few years now. Stuff. Stuff. I don't, stuff. I don't even know what he's I not, own. He's not time. saying, oh, wow, yeah. he doesn't even know what he owns. Nice. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just been so many years just like leaving it there, right? Um, and I don't are check like, yes. Yeah, are we like are we like fur? Are we like fur? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so um, I I'm not too worried about this. I think it's I think there'll be more and more of these uh, things happening, um, and I I I personally like look forward to it to to actually be able to figure out like okay you know can I actually take can I actually start transacting in this? How do I and not having to worry about like reporting or being or or being uh, caught in the future not reporting. Or what have you, right? It's just it's just so complicated, and that's why I haven't touched. Like I haven't really done anything. It's like I buy some and I just leave it there. Got it. Nice. The long term game, nice. But I think you know, as to as to to sum up to this, right? I guess we, we're going to see a bit more legislation. We're going to see a bit more structure, scaffolding built around the the wild west that we used to call the cryptocurrency. Um, so I think it's it's interesting to see where where we're going to go in the next year or two. And even see what the central banks are going to do, right? Um, I think it's a really interesting space. I myself have been doing a bit more research this week, um, looking to maybe start off an NFT, but let's see. Um, let's see how, how we do that. Awesome. Thanks, guys.